Hi there, welcome back to my channel. We are going Christmas shopping. We've got most of our shopping done now, but we've just got, you know, those last few niggly bits. I've got table gifts to do, I've got some joke presents to do, and just a few other bits and pieces. And we've heard that there's Ghirardelli peppermint bark in Costco, so that's on the list tonight. Um, we are going to Poundland. It's a Poundland that we don't usually go to. You're used to my usual Basingstoke videos, but we're actually coming over to Bracknell. We haven't been over here for years. So we're going to give that one a whirl. Um, what else do we want to do? I need to go to Hobbycroft tonight as well for some DIY presents. It's gonna be in Farnborough though, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go back to Farnborough then. And Costco, and we also need to pop to Tesco's and for some vegan chocolates. And Marks and Spencer's. And Marks and Spencer's. So, yeah, so Camberley way. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a bit trick. Of all sorts tonight. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know how you're doing with your Christmas shopping. Are you also like doing all the last few bits and pieces now? And the other thing, do you do presents like extra presents, like table presents, joke presents, anything like that? Um, secret Santas, any work gifts, anything, let me know all those extra little bits if you do anything like that. Um, don't forget you can find me over on Instagram. I am the Funky Fairy for my personal account. That's all my home stuff, my Disney life, cooking, all that kind of thing. And there's also Lollipop Box Club, which is my business, which is my creative account, all my scrapbooking and all my making stuff. Um, please do subscribe to my channel if you don't already. There's a little bell notification as well that you can click and you get notified when the videos go up. So our first shop is going to be in Poundland. I wonder how much their trees are. No, they're not two pounds, that's the chocolate. Noticing that a lot of the stuff is selling out quite fast. I'm really pleased with the lights that I bought in here actually. Oh, here's some more jokey things. Um, didn't do so well with vlogging in there. It was really, really busy, but we're now going on to the range. We did get quite a bit though, so we'll show you later. Going on to the range where I hope to pick up some bits for DIY presents. This is the range. We haven't been in here for absolutely years. These are quite sweet. Oh, these are quite easy little DIYs actually. Oh, I like the little table, 13.99. That's quite pretty. Or is it the stall that's 13.99? Table's 13.99. Yeah, this. Yeah, it's wooden. Still with oh, I quite like that. I do like the crates. You could decorate those. A lot of people make like um, mm. Christmas Eve boxes now. Actually, eight ninety nine they are. Or well, these ones even look. They're quite nice. Next stop, Marks and Spencers. Now I have a question. Percy pigs. They may be vegetarian, but are they vegan? Mm, we'll find out. We're gonna go and have a look. Um, we're gonna head now into Hobbycraft. I'm after some. I want a DIY snow globe and some key rings to make ourselves. Also wanted to say we checked the the or the vegetarian Percy pigs, and they are made in a factory where milk is or dairy is but they don't necessarily have dairy in them so they're classed as vegetarian not as vegan but they don't actually have any milk products we've got this and we're also going to do some of these we've quickly popped into asda and there's loads more wax melts and this one i've got really excited where is it oh you grab them this is just like leaves from Bath and Body Works. Really, really pleased about this find. We are doing so well with our shopping. I was so excited about those wax melts. We ran over the road to Asda to get some thick socks for Louis. They do really good socks in there. Um, I'll show you them in a bit later. I think I need to do a haul video now. Um, look what I found. It's a little reindeer, but it's a wax melt. Are they called wax melt burners? Oil burners, they're Oil. generally known as, but. Bits from my wax melts there. What should I call him? Desmond. Yeah, leave me a comment. Do you know, we've only been doing this for three hours. We've done so well. We've just arrived at Costco now. Just spotted loads and loads of command hooks. 11 98 and you get loads, like 18 um, hooks there. That's a really good price for those. We are so excited. We found Ruffles and AIDS found Cheetos, both of our favorites. We are so excited excited about finding these. <laughs> this mug set is so nice. You get your hot chocolate and a cute little mug. I don't think they've got any Ghirardellis though. Can't find any. We were queuing to pay and the lady in front of us had some Ghirardelli peppermint bark and Aid stopped and asked her where it is and apparently it's found here. We would have gone home without this. Well done Aid. Oh! 
how much is it? 10.78. Oh, and you've got those different ones as well. Oh, hang on. We don't want the collection. Oh, no, we just want the peppermint no, bark. The same. Yeah, that's what we're after. Yes, yeah, the same bag. Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise that. One of them. Yes. Um, what do you think? Sorry. I think one. Oh. Fifty pounds and thirty pence later on crisps and Ghirardelli chocolate. How bad is that? We're having such a fun evening. It's ten to eight. We left the house, what, quarter past four, something yeah, like that? Um, we're not finished. We're now going to drive on to Next, um, which is near where we were with M&S and Tesco. Right, I'm back with the haul. That was such a strange shopping night, but we had so much fun and I can't believe how many places we went to in that short space of time. I have got the strangest haul now with the strangest combination of things. And I think I'm just going to go through it all with you. Um, I'm going to start off with um, Costco. Cheetos and Ruffles. These bags are huge. That's what I like about being in the States actually. You get such big bags of things. I'll just show you as an example. And um, they're literally filled to there. So there is a lot of crisps in there. I can't remember they were £3 something for the double pack each. And we bought three of each flavours. Aid likes the Cheetos, I like the plain Ruffles, and then obviously the Ghirardellis. We nearly, nearly missed those. I counted, we've opened one bag already and we've poured them into a Christmas dish. 50 squares you get in there and that's just under 11 pounds, which I think is a really, really good price. Let me know if you agree with that. We may need to go back and get some more. They are just so good. I love them so much. In Asda, we got three pairs or three packs of these socks. I've been buying them for Aid for a couple of years. I buy them online, but we saw them in the store as well. And they are really lovely socks. They're really thick. They've just increased in price because we bought Aid um, some just recently when we went and they were still six pounds. But just been obviously um, yesterday and they were six, um, sorry, they've gone up to seven pounds for three pairs, which is still really good, but I bought some for Louis. I thought they would be really good for his Disneyland Paris trip because they're quite thick, but not too thick that they would make your shoes feel uncomfortable. But they wash really well, and we're always really, really impressed with these socks from Asda. This was my favorite buy of the whole evening. I love him so much. Really, really cute. He's had a test run and he's doing well. This dish is quite shallow. For your wax melt so if you've got a chunky one it literally fills to the top um really really pleased reduced to four pounds i still don't know what to call him what name leave me a comment below and i'll pick one i always feel the need to name everything and then the wax melts i was so chuffed with these um this is the bath and body works they almost smell identical this one when it burns has a very slight fruitiness to it but only very slight and I think I'm going to go and have to pick up some more because it means now that I don't have to worry about buying it in the States anymore. And the Sensationals in Asda Walmart are uh, they're £2 each or 3 for £5. That was all we bought in Asda in Hobbycraft. We were in there. I've got really self-conscious of vlogging lately. Not because of what people are thinking, but because I'm really worried about being told off. Because I know stores don't like it. Um, let me know if you've had that experience. Um, it just I just feel really nervous about being told off now. This is for one of our DIY joke presents. We do family joke presents. And we've got a photo to go in here. And this was £3. They make really nice gifts though, I think. It's got instructions on the back as well. And somewhere in there, there's a key ring as well. Also from Hobbycraft, which was £1.50. We bought Percy Pigs in Marks and Spencers and as you heard me say they apparently don't contain milk but they are produced in a factory where they do have dairy. Then in Tesco's I have got vegan custard or dairy free custard, dairy free chocolate pudding, this is all for Christmas day. I've got a whole load of dairy free different chocolates, apparently the Tesco's chocolate buttons are the best vegan chocolate, apparently. That's what I've been told. I also found this. Have you seen this before? It's a Gal Galaxy Orange Smooth Vegan Bar. It's quite thin, but um, I'm intrigued to know what that's like because Galaxy is obviously always really creamy. Salt and pepper crackers. I told you this is a strange haul. 
and baby oil. I'll give you a guess what this is for. How well do you know me? It's to clean my cooker hood. I've got stainless steel cooker and cooker hood and it gets it clean so well. I do it once a week on a bit of kitchen towel and I give it a good wipe over and it cleans it off fantastically and leaves it really, really shiny. Did you guess right? Right, now we're on to Poundland. Some of this I can't show you because they are joke presents for family and some, I don't know, they're a little bit rude. Um, but I have got Biscoff biscuits. Do you love these too? Um, I want to find a really good cake recipe. I've been really fancy in making something with them, but I've got a couple of packs, pound, and they're in little packets of um, two. Box of Maltesers that were actually three pounds. Are you finding that there's more and more items now becoming that that aren't a pound. They used to be like a few five pounds, but it's becoming more the case that I'm finding you need to watch what you buy. Couple more picture frames, and these are two for a pound. We've come, become a little bit addicted to these, these knoppers. They're like a chocolate bar that I used to have in Germany, Hanuta. They are so delicious, and that's four for a pound. They're like um, chocolate, I can't decide what the white stuff is. It's. I don't think it's marshmallow. I'm not sure but it's like wafer and then you've got a bit of like almost like Nutella with um, chop with nutty bits in really really yummy toothpaste dishwasher tablets now we saw this and we've picked up this as a game for Christmas Day around the table it's called painter pal there's 20 little people and we thought it would be really fun to be blindfolded with a pencil and have to draw face, clothes and all that kind of thing and then the winner gets a prize. We thought that'd be quite fun with the kids. Um, few joke presents. We've got gummy bogies. We've got a rather attractive mug as well. And then there's a couple of others that I'm not going to share because I don't think they're suitable. So that is my haul. I told you it was a strange one. Aid also bought a coat in Next and I think that's it. Sorry, that's probably the strangest haul ever. But that's everything, mostly obviously from Poundland there. Thank you very much for watching my rather strange haul and shop with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have you bought anything odd recently? Let me know. What's the strangest thing you've bought recently? And do you use anything like me using the oil to clean the cooker? Do you use anything for a different purpose than what it's intended to be? I would love to know. Leave me your comments. I'm dying to have a read and see what you put. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. I have a Hollywood video for you tomorrow so I hope you look forward to that and I will be back on Saturday with another Christmas vlog. Thank you very much, take care, bye!